So when I was younger, I used to write a lot of stories, and I found two of these unfinished stories that I wrote when I was about 11 when I was cleaning my room, and I just wanted to show you how cheesy they are because they're really cheesy, and so we acted them out. So there's one in this video, and one is coming next week. So without further ado... What would you think if you only had 10 minutes to live? You would have to live your life to its fullest in only the shortest moment, yet you had never experienced life before. Watching children play and smiling faces walk by can be very depressing for these statues in the park. Frozen in one position for their entire existence, they had wished they had never been built. They wished they would die because they had never lived. To most people, eternal life sounds like a wonderful thing. But to these statues, it is the most horrible. Invisible in the physical world, an elf of the dream world passed through the park. He read the statue's emotions and felt pity on them. With a tap on the shoulder, one of the statues slowly came to life. I can feel my feet, she thought of saying. She moved her mouth, yet no noise came out, telling her she was still incapable of speech. Once she gained feeling in her arms, she picked her leg up off the ground and moved it forward. She did the same with the other leg, and pretty soon, she did not need to use her arms. I can walk, she thought to herself in glee. She looked over at her friends and thought, Why must it be I, and I alone, who gets to live life? There's no reason for me to live if I am not alongside my friends. She dropped to the ground and cried, or at least she would have, but being a statue, she could not actually produce tears. The elf felt terribly sorry for her and tapped one of her friends on his shoulder. My goodness, he mouthed. He too was incapable of speech. My Loretta! Loretta was the one who had been crying. Loretta, why are you crying? You've been with me for eternity. I uh, cannot bear to see you unhappy, he said, putting his hand on her shoulder. My Lucas! The couple hugged and could not stop staring into each other's eyes. This was normal for Loretta and Lucas because the position they were built in was holding hands and staring into each other's eyes. This is the only reason I love being a statue. Mouthed Lucas. For eternity, I have stared into your eyes. The elf tapped the final statue on the shoulder. Her fingertips slowly gained feeling, and she soon began to move them. What has happened? She thought. Am I at last as one with the humans? Loretta glanced over at her and saw her attempting to walk for the first time. Loretta had gotten used to walking so that she could run. She ran over to her best friend. Overwhelmed with excitement, she nearly completely forgot her soulmate, Lucas. Anna Marie! Mouthed Loretta as she tried to help her walk. Before long, Anna Marie had gotten used to walking and did not need Loretta to hold her up. Anna Marie has always had a curious mind. She ran to a flower garden and lay in the tulips. Loretta and Lucas ran together, never even thinking of letting go of the other's hand. What a glorious world! Mouthed Loretta. Yes, and there's no one I'd rather share it with than you. Mouthed Lucas. Loretta and Lucas danced in the flower garden until Anna Marie found them. What a marvelous world we have missed out on until today, she mouthed to them. Oh, I would give anything to still explore, besides the fact that I'm really a statue.